Hey, what's going on, crew? Get everything set up here tech-wise, and then we are going to dive into referrals today. Talking about referrals, how to get more referrals in your gym using a process they call the Referral Accelerator, and specifically how you can set yourself up for 2022. All right, so give me one second to get this rolling here, and we're gonna jump in to start to break this down. All right, so when it comes to referrals, I hear a lot of different things, um, specifically with gym owners, but this can like why they don't get referrals or why they can't get referrals. Uh, hopefully this can break some beliefs and show you what's possible. Uh, and hopefully this gives you some ideas of what you can put inside of your training facility. So if you want the worksheets I'm going to be showing you today and kind of the tools that we use, all you gotta do is just comment down below this video and let me know. I'll make sure that you get them sent over to you. Even if you can't watch this live and you want the replay, same thing. Uh, I'll get. I make sure I'll get it sent over to you. So just let me know. But we're gonna dive in today and talk about what is called the referral accelerator, right? So we want to get more referrals in our business. Uh, we want to get more referrals in the gym. Uh, one now, but also in 2022 and forward. And you want to have a system behind it. Like that's the big thing with this is you need to have a system. Uh, you just can't hope people are going to come in and make referrals. And the thing is. I get why people don't, don't try or don't get as many referrals. They feel like the asking is weird. They're like, oh, you know, someone's already paying me. I don't want to ask them for something else. I just feel weird doing it. And I get it. Like, I get it. I've been there. I was the same way. I used to say like, hey, if someone really wanted to, like if someone really wanted to uh, bring a referral in or if they really, really liked what we do, then they would just do it. No, that's not the case. Like, that's not always going to be the case. Uh, because even if people love you, and they love what you do, they might not refer you for a hundred different reasons, generally because they forget. It's not on their top of mind awareness to continuously think about referring you. So you need to bring it to the top of mind awareness. And that's what we're going to talk about here today is how you can do that. Now, the other thing that I hear is that they don't have a plan behind it. There's no systems, right? And if you don't have a system, then it's never going to get repeated. So if you don't have a plan or a system of how you're gonna get referrals every single week, every single month, then chances are you're not gonna get referrals. You might randomly get them when you go and ask or when you just, hey, maybe I should ask you know Susan for a referral today. You know, Then you can get them, but generally it doesn't happen all the time. And eventually you find yourself in a time period like now, which happens around the holidays where you're in a new client drought and you're not getting a ton of new clients coming in your gym to sign up through Facebook ads or whatever you normally do because it's just the time of year, right? So if you find yourself in a new client drought, you need to have a way to get more clients in and referrals are one of the best ways to do it. And let's think about it. If you have clients you love, wouldn't you want more of those same exact clients? Yeah, like of course. So the easiest way to do it Get their friends, get their family, get people that are just like them, which is why it's so powerful to have a system behind this and make sure that you never go hungry again, right? If you can consistently get referrals all the time, then you are never going to go hungry again because you have a process in place to get people inside of your gym whenever you want, just by implementing one of these strategies that we're going to go through today. So let's dive in and let's start talking about the referral accelerator. It's really, really simple how this works. There's four different systems that we use inside of a training facility to make sure that referrals come in constantly and they come in consistently, right? Those are the two big things you want to have happen. So number one, and you see how we're going to go up this path. Um, so small targeted things, we're going to go up to bigger things that can be put on repeat all the time. So number one is what we call the gift, right? The sign up gift. So when someone comes in to sign up with you, we're going to give them a gift. All right. And this gift is very, very simple. I don't need to even show you anything for this. You just need to put together a gift is get some gift cards, whether it's a 14 day trial, a 30 day trial. I wouldn't go any longer than that, but a gift card that is for a specific trial period, uh, get together, maybe a t-shirt, maybe a shaker bottle, something else you can gift your new client. And when someone signs up for you, you're going to say, Hey, Mrs. Smith, I have a gift for you. We're so happy to have you a part of a training facility. I want to give you this gift. You know, you have a t-shirt, you have a shaker bottle, you know, uh, we, if we give away a little backpack or a cinch bag, uh, we give away some wristbands. And then in there, we have a gift card is, is, Hey, here's a gift card for you. Now, what this gift card is for is for you to bring someone with you on your first day to work out. And then they can continue with you for the next two weeks for free. So do you have anyone in mind that you'd like to bring with you? 
And right there, they're going to say yes. They're going to say, I have a friend named Susie. I have a friend named Joe, a friend named Tom. Cool. What's their best information? I can reach out to them and set up a time for them to come and get started so that way they can start with you. It is that simple. Now, if they say no, you can say, hey, is it okay if I follow up with you in a couple of weeks to see if there is a friend that you would like to get started with you? Hopefully they say yes. Most likely they're going to say yes to that question and then you need to follow up. So that is another piece of this is you actually need to go back and do the follow-up portion. Like you have to have a plan behind it. Okay. So you're going to ask, do you know someone who wants to come with you? Cool. Here's a free gift for you. You're going to gift it to them and they can give it to a friend. So super, super simple. Now the accelerator number two is the deal. Now the deal can be done alongside of the gift. It can be done without the gift. It can be done as a backup to the gift, but we are going to make an agreement with whoever it is that's signing up. So someone brand new signs up in your training facility and we want to make a deal with them. All right. The deal is, and I'll show you just an example here. My head's in the way, but it's okay. Is, you know, uh, we, we're excited to have you inside a training facility. Welcome to the family. You know, blah, 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 blah. You're going to experience amazing tr coaching programs with us. We're going to ex experience amazing results. Now we want to be able to help as many people. So we just have one thing we ask of you. And that is, when you experience our amazing results and you've achieved X goal, whatever their goal is, would you be referring or be willing to refer one to two different friends of yours or family members who would be a good fit for our program? And they are going to say yes. All right. So we are making an agreement that they are going to bring someone in. This can be done in person and this can be also be done in writing. You can have it in your contracts. That's one little thing to add into your contracts or your, your commitments, <coughs> excuse me, is you want to, Tell them, hey, we're going to do this for you. And when we do that, we would love it if you could bring someone along with you for a training program and get them to sign up. Then again, you have to follow up. So once they've hit their goal, they come in for their meeting. You know, the, hey, Mrs. Smith, you've been down 20 pounds. I know that was a goal you wanted to achieve. You know, do you remember we talked about this in the beginning that when you get someone or when you get to your goal, that you would refer a friend to us. So who is that friend you would like to refer to? And You'll notice every time I'm asking for this specific info, okay? I'm not just saying like, hey, if you have a friend, maybe you should bring them in next time. Or hey, if you have a friend, could you bring them along with you? No, I want to know who is your friend? How can we contact them? Is it okay if we contact them? Now, if they're like, well, I got to see, like, how about you make the connection for us? I'll even give you a script because I know it can be strange to kind of put these words together and tell someone they need to work out. So what if I put together a script for you and you can send that along to them and connect us? I've done this multiple times with our clients and it works. And you have a, a script that you write out and it says, you know, hey, so-and-so, I uh, thought you might be interested in talking with owner, which is going to be you, of the training facility. Uh, I've had amazing results there. I know you mentioned before you want to get back into something uh, for yourself. I think this would be a great fit for you. And I know they'll give you a free 14 day trial or a free 30 day trial to test things out since you're a friend of mine. And then they make the introduction, they CC you on it. You guys can have a conversation and boom, now you have another referral. Okay. So you have two things you can do right in the initial meeting is one, you can gift them something and you can even make a deal. Okay. So you can do both or you can do one or the other. Hopefully that's pretty, pretty simple for you to get behind. Now, number three is what we call the thank you card machine. So people like to be appreciated. And if you're in the service business, if you're coaching people, if you're helping people, you want to make sure you show them your appreciation for them choosing you. And this is where the thank you card machine comes into play. So the thank you card machine is something that is very simple. You can execute this quarterly. You can execute this biannually. You can execute this annually. I wouldn't do it more than quarterly, but it really depends on how many times a year you want to get clients. So the way that this works is four simple steps. So step number one is we are going to split up your clients among your coaches and your team. You're going to send a quarterly love and appreciation card to them. In that card, you're going to thank them. You're going to congratulate them on their results. And that's the thing. It's got to be specific. Okay. You don't want it to just be a general like, Hey, thanks for being a member. No, you want to talk about like, Hey, Susan, like, thank you so much for choosing us and allow us to coach you. Like, it's so awesome to see your transformation and that you've lost X amount of pounds. Like, it's so awesome that you're finally able to get into uh, those clothes that you said you wanted to be able to wear for your wedding. Or it's so awesome that you're able to, to uh, you know, 
accomplish this win in the gym, whether it's a training session or something they've PR'd on. Like there's a lot of different things that you can do to get specific, okay? Number three, you're gonna add a PS. A PS on this thank you card is pretty simple. A PS, just wanna let you know that if you give this thank you card to a friend, we're gonna give a free trial to whoever that friend is. All they gotta do is bring it in with them and take a picture. Now again, the most important piece, follow up. You need to follow up. All right, most people don't follow up with this stuff. Uh, they just give it and they forget about it. So you have to follow up. I have a note on here, it's gotta be handwritten. And when you do it correctly, this is what it looks like. Is then this person is going to post it on social media because they're so excited about it. And it's so thoughtful. They're gonna post on social media and they're gonna say, if you'd like to join me, I have an incentive for you. Like this person's selling for us. Think about that. We have a client who's selling for us and we didn't ask them to do it. We just show them appreciation, we gave them a gift and said, hey, you can give this to a friend and they are going to go and shout you out and shout your name from the rooftop. So thank you, Card Machine. Uh, I recommend quarterly to do this, uh, but like I said, if it's overwhelming, you can do it biannually. So uh, you can do it twice a year or you can do it once a year. Next thing, referral autopilot. So how do we create this system on autopilot? Uh, so your thank you card machine, you can plan out ahead of time. Uh, all you need to do for the other two, just put a process in place. Is a, hey, what, anytime you sign some up, this is exactly what happens. So that way you know that's happening consistently, it's happening constantly. Your thank you card machine is you're gonna set your dates in advance, so that way once a quarter you are sending in these cards out. Now the last one is the autopilot portion, where we want to truly have an autopilot system that we set and forget when it comes to referrals. Okay, and there's a few different things you can do with this. So we have automated messages. Now these are written as if they're written to a friend. This is not like, hey, uh, thank you so much for your business at our company, insert company name. Like we really appreciate how hard you work, insert, like that's not, that's not gonna work. You wanna have very conversational and the message should go out. Uh, and you're going to make sure that they're gonna get asked at three different points. So number one, when they start their program immediately. So we've already asked in the meeting, we've given the gift, we've done the deal, and we're gonna email them in their onboarding emails and their automated messages they get and ask them if they have a friend. So we're asking a lot because we need to remind them, okay? Then at the end of the program, so if someone's doing a short duration program, let's say it's a eight week or 10 week or 12 week program with you, and they come in, they finish it, they do amazing, you should follow up with them. It's, hey, you had amazing results, you know, would you mind referring a friend to us who you think would be a great fit in looking for the same results? And then you have a monthly cadence. So every single month, and you can do this, sit, sit down once, set it up in your email system. So once a month, you're sending out an email to your active clients, your active participants in the gym, and you are asking them if they have someone who they would like to refer. Now, when we do this personally, we have two different things that we do. Uh, number one is a congratulations and appreciation email that in the bottom asks for a referral. Uh, number two is just a very straight up like, hey, Cindy, do you have any friends you think that would be interested in starting our next transformation program? Question mark. Starts conversations and that's where conversions happen. All right, so that is how you put together the referral autopilot is you create these messages and then you just put them into an automated sequence where it happens, like I said, every single month at the beginning of the program, at the end of the program, make it simple on yourself. And that's how you can right here, set it and forget it. Now, the thing is you wanna give cookies for good behavior. You don't wanna give cookies for bad behavior. So when someone does what you are looking for, right? Someone is going to refer a client to you. They're going to bring a friend in. You want to reward them. Give them something to show your appreciation. And the reward has to be a presentation, all right? We want other people to see it because that's how other people know what they should do too. So just like the big giant checks, similar concept, but give out a reward. So when someone brings a friend in, if they're going to get a financial incentive, a financial reward, then give them that reward. Announce it at the end of a training session in front of everyone. So that way people know that if you want to get rewards, if you want to get recognized, you have to do good behavior. And good behavior is bring your friends to come train with us too. So you put the reward out in public. Hey, congratulations, Susie. She preferred her friend, started a program. Her friend's doing amazing. Thank you so much. That's why we're gifting her half off her next month. You know, here's a check. 
here's your money back for, you know, half off of your next month. Boom. Everyone sees it and they know, hey, if I want to get that, here's what I need to do. Okay. So that's how you can make sure that these things happen and reinforce them. And here's how you can plan it. So I've given you a few different systems. So we have the gift cards. So all we're going to do is step our actions. What are the actions that need to happen? Who's going to be responsible for doing it? And when is the date that it's due to launch? So if you want to get the gift cards, I put up here at the top, if you can see this, fitnessgiftcards.com. That's where you can order gift cards that are customized to your business and you can give away. You have the thank you card machine. So, hey, thank you card machine. What's the actions needed? Let's say we have to write cards. Who's doing it? Coach one, coach two, etc. And what's going to be our launch date? Let's say right after Christmas. All right. So now we have this referral accelerator plan in place and you're going to go through and you're going to pick the ones that you're going to do. You're going to write them out. So that way you know exactly what you're going to be doing throughout 2022. You know, I would recommend to pick a couple of these. You don't have to do all of them. But, you know, I think the gift card is an easy one that you should take an action on. The thank you card is an easy one to take action on. And then the referral autopilot where you just have a system in place to constantly ask is going to be key. So that is how you can get referrals inside of your business consistently and constantly. And if you do this correctly, you literally can four extra referrals because you have four poles in the water at all times asking for them. All right. So if you're not getting referrals, I urge you to start to implement these things. If you want the worksheet so you can start to make out your own plan of how to get referrals in, in your gym, just comment down below or shoot me a message and let me know. I will make sure that you get them. And if you want to brainstorm and just talk about how to do this, uh, feel free to reach out. Always open for a free 10 minute call, what I call a micro gym audit to really break down your business and see what's the best fit for you when it comes to these systems. So hopefully that was valuable. Like I said, just implement one of them to start and then go in there, go from there and grow on them. But this is huge, especially during these times of years when things slow down. So take action and enjoy the rest of your week.